Hello, my name is Caroline Crony and today I'd like to show you how to make this hat using the sheep design. I absolutely love this hat and whenever I wear it outside I get lots of compliments and people asking me where I got it from. Um, I got the actual pattern on Etsy from Yankee Knitter Designs and it's called Sheepy Hat designed by, by Melinda Goodfellow. So if you want a copy of this PDF head over to Etsy and you'll get it there. For your hat you're going to need four colours. I've got in this one a nice dark grey then I've used pink for the body and then for the sheep I've used a natural yarn um, which worked well for the sheep and the snowflakes and the roof on top and the pom-pom and these three colours are Aran. I've also got a chunky yarn that's pure black and that works for the sheep's faces and legs and it works really well being chunky because it, it kind of makes the faces stand out more. You're going to need a four millimetre circular knitting needle and a five millimetre circular needle. With the pattern download you get this excellent grid pattern which I find really easy to follow. There's options for small, medium and large and the medium size fits my head perfectly and I would describe myself as a small adult. If you wanted a larger adult go for this one and this is a child size. So for this tutorial we're going to follow this middle one and it's 96 stitches to cast on on the four millimeter needle each sheep is 12 stitches pattern repeat so if you were making something bigger just make it a multiple of 12 and your sheep will fit in just fine So go ahead and cast on 96 stitches, then work in knit one, purl one rib until the brim is 13 centimetres long. Once at that length, you're going to do one knit row in your four millimetre needle, and then you're going to change to your five millimetre needle and you're going to work one more knit row. And when you've done that, you're going to be ready to start the body of your hat and knitting in your sheep. So go ahead and do that and rejoin me when you've reached this stage. Now it's time to start knitting the body of the hat. And I'm going to be using blue and the chunky black for this first row and with circular knitting patterns you always start from the right hand side and work to the left so row one it's telling me I need to knit four blue one black two blue one black eight blue and then we're starting with the black for the next sheep so we're going to work through that if you pop a stitch marker on your knitting needles and then put your needle through the first stitch and select your colour. I'm using blue, so we're going to just pop it over that needle and bring that through the first stitch. And later on, I'll go back and sew in these ends. So we've got one stitch, we need four. So one, two, three, four. Then it's telling me to do one stitch in black. So this is the chunky black I'm using. And hook it over. Oh, sorry. Put your needle through the loop and then hook your new color over. And I'm doing one stitch. Bring that to the front and collect your blue. And we're doing two stitches in blue. Bring that to the front, collect your black. We're doing one stitch in black. Bring that to the front, 
Fletcher Blue. And it says eight stitches of blue. But I'm going to stop after four and I'll show you why. So that's one, two, three, four. Bring, you're going to take your black underneath and collect your blue again. And that hooks up the black so that it's ready for when you're going to do your next single black stitch. So I'm going to do my other four with the black looped in. You see that? So one. Two, three, four. Bring that to the front and just give that a gentle tug. And that's ready to do the next leg here. So we're going to do one in black. Put that over the front. And we're doing these two blue. One, two, bring that to the front and then one black, bring that to the front. We're up to here now. So we need eight blue, but we're going to stop after four to collect the black. Two, three, four. And that's the black, black being picked up by the blue. And you're going to do another four blue. One, two, three, four. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're ready to do another black single for here. So a single black for the first leg. Yarn forward over the needle. And then two blue. Yarn over there. Second leg, and then four blue, and then you're going to collect the black, twist it round. And then another four blue. Bring that over. Now, you give this a gentle pull, but not tight. You need to leave a, a loose tension on it. Do not pull it tight, otherwise it makes your hat feel tight. So we're going to go one leg it's the second leg one two three, four, and you're going to collect the black and do the next four. So there's your eight. 
and you're going to continue this whole row in that same pattern. What you'll find is you get a tangle. So it's worth just stopping every now and again and untangling it as you go. I will see you at the start of the second row. So here I am about to start the second row and I just wanted to show you how it works with the circular needle grid pattern. I want to show you this is the last two legs of this sheep here and there's four blue stitches left. So that's those four. And then the start of row two, that's where you jump to over here, is four more. One, two, three, four. So we still need to carry forward the black. And we're going to do four stitches of row two in the blue. And don't worry about these stitches being loose at the beginning. We can tighten them up later on when I sew in the ends. OK. So we've got four from this end. We've got the stitch marker and then we've got four blue at the start of row two. So we're ready to go ahead and start the legs of the sheep here. The nice thing is we've already laid out our pattern so we can see what colours come in next. So one black, two blue, another black and then you can see we're coming to the eight blue but this time we're not going to stop on four blues we're going to stop on five blues and we're going to carry forward the black yarn now and do the other three to make the eight. And the reason I've moved that carry forward to the fifth stitch instead of the fourth, is because if you do them all on the same one, the fourth, every row, it creates a gap that looks quite ugly. So you stagger the bit, the stitch that you change and catch the yarn in to avoid getting that ugly gap. So, we're on two, sheep two, one leg, two blue, sorry about that, second leg, and then five blue, one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to carry forward the black, do three, And one leg. Two blue. Second leg. Five blue. Carry forward the black and do three. And 
and continue that all the way around, remembering to untangle every now and again. Okay, so I will see you towards the end of row two and at the beginning of row three. Here we have the last four stitches of row two and we're about to start row three which requires one two three blue stitches before the next color change now we don't need black in this next three rows so we're going to leave a long tail and cut it off Okay, so the first three blue stitches, here we come, one, two, three, and it's another colour change, we're changing to the natural colour that I'm using for my sheep. Okay, so I've got a long tail. I'm going to do the first stitch is actually a blue over a blue. And I'll do that's my first stitch for my sheep. And I need one, two, three, four, five, six stitches all together. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, and lay that forward, and we've got back to blue again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, blue. That's one, two. Three, four, five, six blue, lay that there, and one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is going to be quite an easy row. It's going to be six blue, six natural, six blue, six natural, all the way across. Remember to keep your tension loose when you're pulling these yarns forward. A nice loose tension there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Change to natural. So go ahead and finish row three. Six of one colour, six of the other. And I'll see you when we get to this stage here. So this is the end of row three. We have got three stitches in blue and we're moving to row four over here, which is asking for two more stitches in blue. Then we're moving on to a pattern of eight natural, four blue, eight natural, four blue, eight, four, eight, four, all the way along the row. So we'll make a start on that. So I should bring my blue across. And I'm going to stop on four natural I 
move forward my blue just like before so that the blue's ready for when I need it next. So we're going to do four more natural. Bring that up. My blue's ready and I'm going to do four blue. And it's eight natural, but I'm stopping after four. I'm going to collect the blue and do four more natural. So I've got my eight natural, so I need four blue. Eight natural, but stopping after four. Collect my blue. And do four more natural. And so on. So eight natural, four blue all the way around. I'll see you at the end of this one. This is the start of row five. And we need to do one blue. And then the pattern along here is 10 natural, 2 blue, 10 natural, 2 blue, all the way across. And I'm going to pick up my second yarn after 6 stitches of natural. I'm going to collect my blue and then do four more unnatural to make it up to the ten. Okay, so two blue. Ten natural, stopping at number six. Two, three, four, five, six. Collect my blue. Four more natural. And two blue. Okay, so keep going all the way across the row and I'll see you at the start of row six. Row six and we're going to start doing the sheep's face. So we're going to be joining with the black chunky yarn. I've done the one blue stitch, so we're going with two black stitches. So I've got my long tail, pull it through, and that's the second one. Pull that across. Now we're going to be carrying forward blue and natural, and the pattern repeat for this is eight natural, two blue, two black, eight natural, two blue, two black, all the way across. 
So I'm going eight natural next. And I'm pulling the blue up as well as the black so that the natural catches them. So it's one, two, three, four. I'm stopping on the fifth natural. Now you've actually got to bring two colors along this time. And I've picked them up with a natural. One, two, three more. So that's the eight natural done. So now I need two blue. So the blue is all ready because you've pulled it along. I'm going to put the natural over there and the black over there and we're doing two blue. Bring that forward. We're now going to do two black for the next sheep's face. And making sure you've got both your other colors lying over your needle. So that's one, two, you're going to bring that to the front. You're doing another eight natural. Make sure your blue's pulled over. You've got your natural ready, but we're stopping on five, two, three, four, five, and you're wanting catch both of these colors in your natural yarn and you're doing three more natural one two three more natural that's the eight all together and they're all lying ready for you to use bring your natural forward and your black forward and this time you're going to do two blue. Pull that over. Your next one is going to be black. So make sure the natural's pulled over as well. And then you're doing two black for the, the next sheep's face. Pull that forward. Naturals next, so make sure the blue's forward, and you're going to go five natural. And then you need to catch your other two colors and do three more natural one two three bring that forward you're using blue next so make sure the black's forward and then you're going to do two blue and that's us ready to start the next face so two black eight natural two blue two black eight natural two blue all the way along and it seems fiddly at first um, but stick with it it's really worth doing all right now row seven is exactly the same as row six so you're going to start with one blue and then the pattern repeat of two black eight natural two blue two black eight natural two blue but this time I want to stop after three natural stitches so you can collect your other two colours. You can really start seeing the sheep appear now. They're very, very cute. So finish row seven and I'll see you for row eight. This is the start of row eight and 
there are no blue stitches at the start of this row it's straight into four black then seven natural one blue four black seven natural one blue four black seven natural one blue all the way across and I'd like you to stop at, after four natural stitches and collect your other two colours each time. Okay, and I'll see you at the start of row nine. Here we are at the start of row nine. I have cut off the black, leaving a long tail because we don't need that anymore. You're going to start row nine with two blue. And then you're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight natural, then four blue. Then it's eight natural, four blue, repeated to the end of the row. And this time I would like you to stop after five natural stitches and carry forward your blue yarn after the fifth natural stitch. Okay, see you at the start of row 10. I got a bit carried away and forgot to stop at the start of row 10. However, it is a really easy row, so I'll just let you know that you start row 10 with three blues. Then the pattern repeat is six natural, six blue, six natural, six blue, all the way across. And you're stopping after three natural and carrying forward the blue. Then you're stopping after three blue and carrying forward the natural. Hope that makes sense. See you at the start of row 11. So row 11 and 12 are just knit. So go ahead and knit two rows and then on to row 13 we're going to start adding in the snowflakes which are every fourth stitch. Okay so the very first stitch is blue and the second stitch is your natural but bring your blue to the front and knit one natural bring your natural to the front and then you're going to knit three blue one two three then you're going to bring blue to the front and you're going to get one natural row to the front three blue blue to the front one natural and you're going to do that all the way around and then the next two rows no I tell a lie next three rows one two three rows are knit and once you've done those three knitted rows, you can rejoin me then. Next comes the second row of snowflakes. And you'll see there's three blue stitches before the first snowflake. So three again and the next snowflake. And you'll see that the snowflakes are sort of halfway between each other. So bear that in mind. So all together, you're going to have one, two, three, four, five rows with snowflakes in and three knitted rows in between. So go ahead and do all those and I'll meet you for this last row and talk you through that one. The last row of snowflakes is really easy. It's three natural, one blue three natural, one blue, all the way round. We're finished with the grid pattern now, so I'll pop that to one side and you no longer need your blue colour, so I've cut that off, left a long tail and you need to do one whole row of knit in your snowflake colour, my is the natural. Now we're going to start the decreasing rounds to shape the top of our hat. 
And the first decreasing round is knit four and knit two together. Knit four and play on two, three, four, knit two together, one, two, three, four, knit two together, all the way around. So knit four, knit two together, knit four, knit two together, all the way around. Once you've completed that round, you do another knit row with no decreases. The second row of decreases, you're going to work three knit and then knit two together, three knit, knit two together all the way around. Then you're going to do one more row of knitting with no decreasing. Then your stitch is going to be too tight on your circular needle. So you're going to transfer to four double pointed needles and I've got 16 stitches on each one. And then you're going to start the third decreasing row and it's simply going to be knit two and knit two together knit two and then knit two together for the whole round and then you're going to knit one more row after that. We've now reached the fourth decreasing row and this time it's just going to be one knit and then knit two together. It's getting quite tricky now so we just need to be patient. One knit and then knit two together. Complete that row and then knit another row. Not many stitches left now. The next row you're going to knit two together and knit two together and knit two together all the way across. And this is the very last row of your hats. Well done if you've made it this far. You're going to knit two together across this row and you will be left with eight stitches. Yay, we made it. Well done. Time to cast off now. So I have cut off a very long tail of my yarn popped it on a needle and you're going to pick up every stitch, all eight of them. And then you're going to pull that tight. Now I like to go around it twice so you're picking up the same eight stitches. It just makes it stronger. And this bit will be underneath the pom pom.
when you're happy that it's strong enough you're going to pop the yarn through to the inside and then you're going to turn your hat inside out and you'll see you've got quite a few ends that all need to be sewn in so that'll keep you busy for 10 minutes and once all your ends are in pick a color for your pom-pom and you'll get that sewn on as well and there you will have your beautiful hat Congratulations.